What's your favorite part of the Italian festival? The sauce. 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 <laughs> uh, they're not both fine. <laughs> the sauce. The sauce. Um, the sauce. So this is our 16th year doing the Italian festival and uh, so every year we do decorations and everything like you can see in the back. And then in the front. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Two, two cross beams and then in the front. But we've got curtains. So what goes next? Curtains. Lights. Well, we can hang the lights kind of in front of them. Okay, let's do curtains first then. And, uh, uh, curtains. Terry knows. Oh, there's it. Terry knows. What are we hanging on away? We set up the booth from about 7 in the morning till 9 in the morning. Um, which, uh, kind of stressful because then we get the food coming at about 8 30 to 9 so we try to get it done before 9 but sometimes that just doesn't happen with everything else that's going on it probably takes a good couple hours i say to get all of it done up and organized out of the way and just kind of forget about it until the end of the day and this is our crate right andrea you need to get it down is it good Good? No, it's not good. <laughs> no, I'm eating it. Ooh, only one light works. What happened? You know, you ready? Actually, it doesn't even. It... That's all it does. Okay. I don't know how to. I'm Yama. Oh. Ren, is that like even? My favorite part of the Italian festival is getting everyone together. We don't seem to see each other that much um, throughout the year, um, as often as I would like. But uh, we get together. We get, it's a whole family event, so we get to see everybody. Okay, let's do this. Before you guys unfold that, oh. it is. 25 feet, okay. 25 yards long. So it How unfolds, so it unfolds, and then it unfolds, and then it unfolds, and then it unfolds one more time. I do not care. <laughs> I don't like this camera. It's capturing my child. So. Setting up the decorations is stressful um, only because we also get food and stuff and there's time um, constraints that we have to meet. Um, so we're doing that at the same time and we only have the one ladder to hang up everything, you know, up on the roof. So it gets in the way of all the food prep and everything. So we try to get it done as fast as we can, but sometimes it just doesn't happen fast. <laughs> um, we actually decided the theme, kind of had an idea a year ago at the event. Um, but we, I think it was April when we went to a wine tasting, they had um, themed kind of parties. And so one of them is always the Godfather. So we decided to use that because it's, you know, that iconic Italian-American movie. And uh, everybody knows what it is. So um, we decided to decorate out here with the lights and everything. Like um, the opening scene where they're at the wedding and uh, we have the boutonnieres, the shirt that looks just like the Godfather logo. And um, yeah, so it all came together. We just uh, kind of collaborated, me and my mom, just um, got all the decorations together. And yeah, so it just usually comes together like this. It's kind of fun more than it's stressful. <laughs> um, we like to get together and just kind of 
bounce around ideas with everybody. <laughs> so uh, everybody has all these different ideas. And so we actually include everybody's ideas usually in the theme and somehow or another everything is included and it just comes together. I'll try it. Hello. Hello. I don't know what Etrid all is, but I'm putting weird sugar in my coffee. Buongiorno. 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 <laughs> You don't want to brown it in the pot so much because, again, with the fat, you got to scoop it all out later. Um, but so brown the meat off, keep that off to the side. We're gonna brown the onions, not brown them, but cook them, saute them until they're clear. Uh, then throw the garlic in. If you throw the garlic in with the onions, they'll burn. So once the onions go in, the garlic's done, the meat goes in. Then we're gonna throw in uh, the tomato sauce and the tomato paste. The tomato paste first. Um, because we like to brown this, the tomato paste, it's not necessary, but we like the extra flavor. What do you put in, what do you put in that right now? Uh, we want to brown uh, it. Uh, yeah, Uncle Ed says we got to brown the paste. Which side of the family are you talking to? Brown the paste. Well, you do. Right. I mean, it gives it a little flavor. Any meat in the sauce? Put it on. Once you throw in all the tomato, you fill the rest up with water. Throw in your spices and uh, let it go. What was it? Garlic. <laughs> the uh, mushrooms take up a lot of water, so we're putting in uh, 20 pounds of meat in a 10 gallon sauce. Uh, and the we're probably going to put in maybe 7 gallons of water. And the tomato, or the mushrooms will soak up a good 2 gallons. It's 2 pounds of uh, dried tortillas. thing with the beef, beef, brown it off first, um, and then scoop the fat off. We usually use Italian sausage, but um, we got ground pork instead. So what we're going to do to make up for that is add fennel to the sauce later, which is what makes uh, ground pork Italian sausage pretty much. Basil, sweet basil. Mm. We don't want any stem, just the leaf, because that's what Noni said. Nona said just the leaves. The sauce is pretty sweet. That's due to too much carrot. So we're going to put in maybe two-thirds of the carrots today. And we'll taste it around in an hour and see if it needs some more sweet. Uh, when you put in carrots, you always want to put in, no matter what you're putting it in, you want to put in the same amount of celery. Uh, because Thank um, you. in French it's called mirepoix, uh, or the Holy Trinity, uh, is two parts onion, one part carrot, one part celery. This 
this is the way it's done in Italy when I went to culinary school there. This is the first thing they had me do is chop basil. One whole one of those I think can go in. I studied under Fulvio, one of the greatest chefs in Italy. Fulvio Tedesco. He taught me what I need to know. <laughs> Tony, I'm off the meat for the minute. That's the last of the meat. The chunks of the pork are kind of big, but that's okay because we're going to be stirring the sauce uh, for three hours. If you were to make it at home, you wouldn't stir it as much. So you, you could. Uh, make the chunks of pork and beef a little smaller. ship when he came over? I heard that, but I didn't know all of it. He was, you know. And, he, and then, so what happened, let me get this straight, so he was a stowaway on the ship, and once they found him, after they had left port, he, you know, I mean, they were going to throw him overboard, but he got rescued or saved by the cook, and, and he stuck, yeah, in this pot, you have to stir it so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. Because the worst thing is to have burnt sauce. You can't burn the sauce, you gotta have it nice and green. Right, he said they were gonna go to the Red Redwoods. In Italy, they call sauce gravy. No. New York. In the, that's American word. So is that sauce like where the region is from? Yeah, this sauce is indicative from the region that our family is from in Italy. Yeah, man.
we did. My favorite part of the Italian festival is the family. up to no good garlic I'd like to know uh, how you got the cushy job of uh, being video it's the it's the hardest job so just know that I'm working twice as hard as you guys are I got that bullshit how about that how about that kind of bullshit huh? <laughs> yeah I can see you got some of your grandpa's blood in you. <laughs> hey, damn swerves. <laughs> what?